Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a two look OLL tutorial for the 3x3. I originally was going to be playing a game today, but the Wi-Fi is down, so I sadly cannot do that. Um, so yeah, um, we're just going to get right into this. So first thing I'm going to do is explain what two look OLL is. So on a normal 3x3, you would just solve your cross right here, and then you solve your um, a full layer right here, and then your second layer. And then after that, you would get to solving the last layer side, or the yellow side, basically. And um, what you would probably do if you're a beginner is you probably just do um, an algorithm based on a shape you have. So if you have a line, you would just do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime to give you a cross. And then if it were a hook, then you would just do F, U, R, U prime, R prime, F prime and that would give you a cross. So then when you get to that point, you probably just repeat this algorithm called the soon over and over again, and um, until you get the case you're looking for. So you do once, and then you just keep doing it until you get this case, and then you would do it again, and you would solve the yellow side, and you would probably just do it from a bunch of random angles. Maybe you do know the correct angles to do it from, but either way, it does take up some time and can be really difficult to um, solve it quickly with. And what two look OLL is, is basically once you do have your yellow cross case, then you would just solve the entire side from any case you have. And as you can see right here, I have every case displayed for the seven cases of two look OLL that you can get. So yeah, um, basically this is how it works. It's pretty simple. Each of these cases right here is just going to be one algorithm that will solve that case so that you don't have to keep doing one algorithm over and over again. So I'm just going to show you each case, show you the algorithm for it, and I will try and give you some tips on memorizing the algorithm. So the first case and most simple case that most of you probably already know is the soon. It looks like this. There will be three unsolved corners, one solved corner. And a lot of people recognize it for its fish-like shape right here. As you can see, there's a head and then there's a tail over here. And when you get this case, you want to hold it so that the fish is swimming to the bottom left over here in this position. And you also want to make sure this piece right here is yellow, because if the sticker is not yellow, then you have a different case. But here's the soon right here, and it goes like this. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Here it is fast. The next case is called the anti soon, and it is just a fish again. It looks very similar to the exact same case, except this piece is not yellow this time, and instead it is on this side facing away from you. So when you get this case, you're going to want to hold it so that it is actually um, this yellow piece right here is facing you, and the fish should basically be swimming in this direction this time, so in the top right instead of swimming toward the bottom left, and you're going to do this algorithm. R u2, r prime, u prime, r, u prime, r prime. Now basically what that case is, is it is just the same thing as the soon, but it's backwards. So you're basically just doing the soon backwards, and that's all it really is. Here it is fast. The next case is called the Superman OLL, and it looks like this, there will be two unsolved corners, and they will have stickers that are yellow, and they will both be facing you. I'm pretty sure it's called the Superman case because it's supposed to be him flying with like his arms, and these are supposed to be his arms. I'm not sure why a lot of these have weird names for unknown reasons. So you're just gonna hold it from this angle so that these two pieces are facing you, and you're gonna do this algorithm. R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U prime, R prime. So a tip on memorizing this case is really all it is, is it's just a bunch of R, D, and U moves. There's no other moves. There is no U or U prime. If there's gonna be, if there's a U in this algorithm, then it, all it is is just a U2. So um, you don't need to like get anything mixed up. And there's no D2s either. There's only U2s and there's only Ds and D primes. So that's something that can help memorize it. And then of course the algorithm ends with the trigger R prime, U2, R prime. Here it is fast. The next case is called the Charmeleon case. Um, I don't, I have actually no clue why it is called that. Um, 
I guess it kind of looks like a Charmeleon somehow, but um, that's what it's called, and it's recognized because there's once again two unsolved corners, just like the Superman case, but instead there are no arms facing you, and the two yellow pieces are both facing away from each other, and away from you. So when you get this case, you're going to put those two pieces to the right, like this, and you're going to do this algorithm. Wide R, U, R prime, U prime, wide R prime, F, R, F prime. So if you know a lot of triggers, like the sexy move or the sledgehammer, um, that's basically what this algorithm is, except the first R moves of them are both a wide R instead of a normal R, if that makes sense. So it's just sexy with a wide R and sledgehammer with a wide R prime. So it's very simple. And here's the algorithm fast. The next case right here is called the bow tie case. Um, there are once again two unsolved corners, but instead they are not in a line and they're actually diagonal from each other. And this is called the bow tie case because if you look at the yellow, it actually looks like a bow tie. So it's pretty easy to remember. You're going to hold it so that this piece here is facing you on the right side, and you're going to do this algorithm. F prime, wide R, U, R prime, U prime, wide R prime, F, R. So this basically is actually the exact same algorithm, but you do an F prime at the beginning instead of the end of it, because if you look at both the algorithms, like literally all it is is it's just the F prime has been rearranged and it is now at the beginning of the algorithm rather than the end. And here it is fast. All right, so the next case here is called the car case. And I think it is called this because it's got four unsolved corners, as you can see. And I guess those are supposed to be the wheels of the car or something. I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, it's called the car case, and there are actually multiple different algorithms for this, so I'm going to show you two of them, and you can pick out which one you like the most. So, the first one right here goes like this. R, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. So basically, all you're actually doing there is you're just doing the soon twice, but you're canceling into the next soon. So if you could, if you just did this, there's a soon, there's another soon. It does solve it, but you are actually basically adding more moves because when you finish solving the soon, if you were to start doing it again, you would just be doing the exact same moves. And then another algorithm for that same case, which is pretty much just as fast, is like this. Um, you're going to hold it so that the wheels are facing you this time. Instead, on either side, it doesn't matter. Same went for the other algorithm as well. And you're just going to do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Um, that is very easy to memorize. It All it is is you're just doing an F, and then you're doing three sexy moves, so triple sexy like that, and then F prime. So yeah. Now, if you're good with unsexies too, and you prefer doing those, you could do the same thing. So you could do F, unsexy, 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 F prime, if you would rather do that. Here are both of those cases fast. So here's the next case. This case is called the blinker case. Um, it's similar to the car case. As you can see, there's four unsolved corners. Instead of these facing away like these ones are, these are actually facing, or they're facing away from each other and these ones are facing the same direction. So it basically just looks like this. It's called a blinker case because I guess these are supposed to be the headlights of the car blinking. I don't know, but um, here it is. This is the algorithm. R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. And here's the algorithm fast. And there you go, those are all seven OLL cross cases. Um, basically, just memorize them, try and come up with ways to help memorize all the algorithms. So this will help you a lot because you will be able to orient your last layer in two algorithms, which will be really efficient. So I'll just do some examples. So here we have the line case, which is F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And then we do our next case right here. This is the bow tie case. So just like that. 
And that will make your last layer a lot quicker. And then obviously after that, you would do PLL or Tulip PLL if you do not know full PLL yet. And yeah, um, that is Tulip OLL. I had an idea to make a CFOP tutorial as well. If you guys like this and you would like to see that, let me know. Um, it would be a lot of time, obviously, and I actually just recently learned full CFOP. Um, me let me know what you guys want to see. Um, I'll definitely be playing a game tomorrow, not sure what though. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for other videos, and I'll see you guys next time.